Hey everyone! So I wanted to give an update on where things are at with me and my IVF cycle. So yesterday I had my beta HCG, HCG test, my first one. And I had it in the morning and then I had went to run errands and I got a call in the afternoon from the doctor. And the phone call was really brief, um, and it kind of threw me for a little, a little bit of a loop. So the doctor said to me, um, your HC, HCG test came back positive, um, and she was like, but it's a little low, so we're going to have you come back in on Monday and take another test. And so... Um, she was like, so, you know, other people with your level have had perfectly fine pregnancies and everything has been fine, but it is a little low. Um, and then she said that um, to keep taking my meds and just to come back in on Monday. But then I kind of felt like um, surprised. I guess, um, a little concerned, worried, I felt pretty uneasy because she was talking about the level being low, so instantly I hung up, I hung up the phone and I'm like, well, what is normal, and she said mine was 35, um, but then I was thinking in my head, like, she said it's positive, so I don't understand what's wrong. So then I text my friend who um, just had her IVF cycle a couple months ago and is now pregnant. She, she went to the same clinic as me. And she, I said, you know, did you have to go back in for a second test? And she said, yes. Um, that's kind of like their, the part of their procedure, like standard protocol. And I was like, okay, well, the doctor called and she said that my results are positive, but I need to go back. And she said that my results are low. And my friend is like, don't worry, mine were low. It's not a big deal. Um, they more so just want to make sure that the second time you go, that your number is increasing. And I still wasn't feeling like that was a good enough answer. So I called the clinic back, asked to talk to a nurse. Um, and at this clinic, you can't talk to a nurse right away. You have to, um, there's a spider. Ew. Gross. Um, you have to leave a message and wait for a nurse to call you back. So I called my husband. Well, I had called him earlier and told, I called him obviously right away after I talked to the doctor. And then I called him back and just let him know that I was waiting for them to return my call. And then he called me back a few minutes later and, or I'm sorry, the nurse called me back a few minutes later and she's like, your test was positive. And I was like, yes, but she said that my level is low. And she was like, it is on the lower end, but honestly, like, there's such a, a wide range from our patients that we don't give people, like, a typical number that their HCG should be as long as it's above five then you're considered pregnant and then she reiterated what my friend said and said you know you just want to make sure that when you come the second time what we're looking for is that your number is doubling and it's increasing that's what we're more focused on we're not so much focused on the first um, blood draw and so I said well I just was a little worried because of the way the doctor said it and she was like it wasn't intentional and she was apologetic and that made me feel a little bit better so then I finally am like okay I'm pregnant <laughs> um but it took me a couple hours to get to the point where I like accepted it and was happy about it because I just was thrown off which is kind of crappy but I'm pregnant um, I'm excited. I asked the nurse if I should take a home pregnancy test and she was like, no, it doesn't make sense to, um, she was like, your test does say that you're pregnant. And she was like, again, I just want to reiterate the purpose of the HCD, HCG, taking it twice is 
figuring out if it is increasing. Um, so then, of course, I went online and did some research and was spending lots of time looking online at what does this mean? Are my levels too low? Does this mean I'm going to have a miscarriage? All that kind of stuff. And then I had to like remind myself that this is not productive at all for me to be researching when that's not at all what the doctor was intending to do was to make me worry. That wasn't her intention. And there isn't necessarily something to be worried about. A lot of women have lower levels and go on to have fine 